this is this is really good. I'm telling you, this is really good. Like this. Hey guys, gonna go to favorite spot here on Austin. That is Pilot Coffee. They are so famous that everybody who likes coffee probably know about them, at least in Toronto. <laughs> Let's see, we're at Pilot Coffee. <laughs> what is famous about Pilot Coffee? Look, the decor, the atmosphere, the location, where it's situated, and the mood. We come here usually just for coffee, but you know, we've been walking around a little hungry and we got their pastry. At this moment, don't offer any sandwiches or anything, but I mean, if you're not really hungry, this will suffice. Now, there famous items are obviously coffee. And their lattes are very good. So after our experiences at the Pilot Coffee, we're going to go to another very, very famous restaurant here on Ossington. Let me show you one of the most famous foods here in Toronto. This is the place. I'll show you the sign. See that? I love her forever. If you do, you definitely gotta come here. So and now they actually offer seating outdoors, which is perfect for the summer. This is the famous rare beef along with well done beef. <laughs> Like it's always so much fun when you order a pho in your local Vietnamese restaurant because you get to play with your food. I'm gonna put in the bean sprout. Some people don't like it. I used to not, but it's actually okay. I love when it's skinny noodle like this, thin noodle, because there are places that have thick noodle they can offer. I like to put the rare beef into the soup and it cooks by itself. <laughs> always try the broth first. Tasty. There is a bit of salt in there. Mm. It's really good. Can't imagine how good uh, pho tastes under the sunlight, along with condensed milk iced coffee. It's very enjoyable. The soup gives you such a plentiful flavor within that broth that they provide you with. Tender beef, regardless of well done or rare, it's very tender. Like you're not gonna be like chewing for 10 hours just so that you can swallow it. Guys, this is really good. You guys gotta check this out. There's so many people right. here. It's like, oh wow, the place that we're going to, there's a bunch of lineup. Look at that. This is the place we're going to, the ice cream bakery place. There's a whole bunch of people lining up for it. I guess we're gonna have to do the same. I had my eye on Maltese and I'll have the toffee. Maltese on the top. And I'm gonna go over the recommendation. Sounds good. That was quick. This is what we got. So in case you didn't hear, the top is Maltese. Maltese me, that's what they call it. And bottom is burnt toffee. It's dropping everywhere already oh my god look at this. oh the maltese is good the maltese is really maltese wow oh this is so good i'm like a kid it just drips everywhere it is really good and i tell you the lineup absolutely justified I don't even have time to speak. I'll talk to you guys in a bit, okay? Gotta finish this. The home of these guys. Home of these in, right in here. It's really good, guys. You gotta come try it. Heading towards another stop here on Washington, and that is the one you can see it. It's La Cubana. That's right. It says best Cubano in town. So we're gonna head in. We're going to see if we get our uh, takeout inside. It's nice and big that I could see what kind of food they offer here. I mean, I've been in here once, but I don't remember. It's been a while. This place is sweet. Okay. 
Can we get one of the pressed cabano just to go, please? Yeah. One pressed cabano to go? Yes. Okay, so we got this picked out from La Cubana in Toronto here. Their stuff is good. It's really hot. This sandwich is absolutely amazing. Look at that sandwich. Wow, that looks so nice. It looks so nice. I just want to bite the screen. Wow, look at that. Wow, that looks amazing. That looks, oh my God, look at all the cheese. Wow, look at that cross section. Ever seen a nicer cross section? <laughs> no, I don't think so. This is, wow, that looks amazing. This sandwich is so awesome. I'm just gonna have to bite it right now, right in front of you. <laughs> You know, as soon as I dug my teeth into this, you know what came into my memory? That little Cuba place down south near Miami. All that memory just came back. This is so good. Hmm, that they use must be some sort of voodoo ham and the cheese and all that other stuff. And the way they pressed it, it's not too hard, it's not too crispy, it's just perfection. This sandwich, this is, this is really good. I'm telling you, this is really good. Austin, if you come down here, you don't go to here or you don't go to that ice cream place, man, you're just like missing out, I'm telling you. But anyways, can't stop. <laughs> place that we're gonna introduce you guys and it's called Deer Green. Uh, hey here you go. Yeah. So I would recommend like Thursday is really fun. Okay. But you gotta come before like 1 p.m. because the lunch rush is when they sell out. Is it wine back there? Yeah. Oh okay yeah because I was like I still wine yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Wine? Yeah. yeah, I thought it's vinegar and I go no. It's <laughs> As well, okay. Yeah, exactly. well, fair enough. We've picked out something, even though it's not what we're thinking of earlier. Okay, so we're finished walking around Austington and we just got to sit down. We found this place called Paris Paris. They're actually a brewery and they sell their own, you know, Pilsner. They got Pilsner right here, but I got my light beer. This is really cool. Look at this. <laughs> Blood light. <laughs> I think this is pretty cool gimmick here. On our mind, there's a lot of more other places that we want to show you. By all means, I mean, if you guys have any suggestions from you, or if you know any store in Washington or that it's very close to Washington, let us know down in the comments so, you know, we can go check it out. I mean, you never know. We're always open up to new ideas. Anyways, until next time, we'll see you on the next episode of what's going on on Washington.